Hi guys! So, first I got some new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining. It motivates me every time. Even if I'm way far away from having thousands, every single one counts. And I'm back with the bottle filling machine for the little bottles. And I had to realize while we had the software more or less finished that uh, the temperature sensor and the safety thermostats are in the wrong place because they are on the hot side of the heater and not of the si on the side of the water. It's obviously I, I underestimated the temperature difference I have between the hot side of the heater and the colder side where the water flows because of course where the water flows is going to be the colder side. In hindsight, politely said, not so smart. But that's how you learn, right? And so I have to take everything apart again. Let me show you with the overhead cam. So you see here these three blocks with, with the foam. And I already took, back, took away the back plane and the top plate. So I have access to all of that. But first of all, we have to disassemble. So that's going to be boring again. So we make a time lapse for you. I mean, I can explain some of that here. I can break off parts of the foam. The thing is, the wires are a bit too short to pull it just out in one piece. Another mistake I made. And so since the wires are down here, I have to carefully try to, to break away some foam until I have access to my heating element. And once I have that, I can look further on how exactly I'm going to proceed. Um, Let me just try to somehow cut into it so it breaks away easier. That foam is strong. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy that the foam is that strong because that gives me the possibility that, that, that the, the strong foam holds everything in place nicely. But of course, if you want to remove it, it's uh, less fun. So, all the foam is out. That's the good news. And most of the wiring is intact, except that one down here which I have torn off and I'm not even sure how the hell am I going to screw that back in. That's going to be a bit challenging, but I think the next step is to blow it out with some compressed air. That looks good. So now I want to move this sensor here straight onto the tube here and same with the thermostat. So, finally, the wiring is done again, the sensors and safety thermostats are in place. I had half a cup of water to not dry out and we're ready to start again with the foil to contain the foam because I was very happy to have it, I must admit, because 
it helped me a lot to pry away the foam again. It keeps the foam from the electronics, so it is a good thing to put it in. Let's just... Yeah, is that enough? I hope so. That's the middle of both. I mean, I have a second roll if needed. So, now that I have cut off the excess, I should be able to close it on top, put the top cover back on. Yeah, maybe there is still some excess that needs to go away. I mean, one great tool I have is that oscillating saw which has proven very valuable in several cases. Now, if I somehow try to push that down, oh, that, that one is still very bad here. Oh, oh, there's one more thing that could be a problem. Where is my cover? Oh, here it is. Haha, <laughs> you see these screw heads here? They need to go into the foam too, so that's also going to be a bit of an issue. So, and after that, the camera ran out of battery. Um, I mean, I have some footage from the overhead cam. I could close the lid more or less after cutting away more foam. Oh, I see. There's still some foam around here I need to get rid of. That looks ugly. Okay, that goes away pretty well. I mean, that the machine will get a deep clean anyway before it gets delivered. For testing, it's good enough now. But um, I, I run a quick test and I saw the temperature rise. And what is good is before I had the issue that the temperature sensor was too far away from the water and the safety thermostat was too close to the heat. So let me, I can show you with one of these. So the heater is on this side and the water is on this side. And that was the issue because I had the safety thermostat here and it's limiting at 105 degrees. So it was switching everything off before the heat could get to the water on the other side. And since now I'm measuring on this side, the thermostat clicked at around 110 degrees which is about what I want, because that's the safety shutoff I want. And it's not shutting off the heater while my auto thermometer was measuring like 60 degrees, because that is nonsense. So I'm pretty confident it's going to work like this. Uh, I have to bring it back to the guys who helped me write the firmware. And... Bjorn, that guy, will, will do some testing and I hope then we have a more or less useful temperature regulation. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll give you another update once everything works. Mm -hmm.